Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and I am really excited to be with you today to shoot this video. The reason why is because the Silhouette Go app is finally out of beta. So yes, you can check your Google Play Store, you can check your Apple Store and you will see the icon looking just like this. Yes, it is finally out of beta and you can use it. And in this video, I will be using the Silhouette Go app to cut my first design using this app. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be an adventure. I hope you stick with me to the end of this video. So let's jump into the video. All right, so when we open up our Silhouette Go app for the first time, it would give us a few tips and tricks and, and show us how we need to get started. So you wanna make sure you go through all of these steps right to the end. You're going to click next, you're going to select your machine, you're going to choose your design, arrange your design, set up your settings, and you're going to connect your machine to your iPad or to your device, okay? So you're going to go to all the prompts so that you can set up your machine correctly and so that it will make it much easier on you. In this section here, to choose my machine, I'll be using the Cameo 4. I have a Cameo 4 Pro, but in this video, I'll be using my Cameo 4. So it will select that choice and click on remember this choice. And it will prompt me to log in or I can skip this feature. I advise that you log in because when you do log in, you will be able to retrieve all of your documents, all of your designs, all of your SVG files. Also, you'll have access to Silhouette America where you can purchase SGV designs and files for your liking. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my email and my password and get right back. So once I'm signed in and logging, it brings up our dashboard. As you can see, the library is here and it is well played out for you. And there's some instructions and there's a cute box at the bottom you can see in orange. This will guide you through every single thing that you need to find, know, so you, you want to make sure that you read the instructions at the bottom just in that box because that box will guide you all the way through every single thing you want to know about, okay? So we're gonna proceed forward and we're gonna actually take a look in this program and see what it has. So we have the library here. We have to our left hand side at the top, we have a menu. You can sign out, switch to user, choose a machine, Bluetooth settings, reset defaults, introduction, reset tutorials, help, terms of use, and rate this app. So we're gonna jump straight in right now to checking out the filters, which is at the bottom, and it gives them some it gives us some options: all designs, favorites, user designs, and purchased. Now, just for your understanding, if you would have already logged in, signed into your silhouette. America Online or you would have created an account where you can register your machine and purchase files. Then once you log into the app and you sign in, all of those files, all of those documentations, whatever you would have purchased is gonna be accessible to you right here. That is the amazing thing about this. They are going to be accessible right here for you. So that is why I mentioned it's important that you actually sign in here to get back all of your documents. So I'm gonna go into user design and uh, I'm gonna select an image that I would have created a while back. And I'm gonna use this as an example to show you guys how this app and the machine works together. All right. So once again, it's gonna give you just some short tutorials here in this orange box telling you exactly what you need to do. If you look at the top of the screen, you will see that they give you multiple options. There's a plus box there. There's the undo box. There's the grouping box and the ungroup. There's the other icon that tells you that you can, and shows you that you can flip your design horizontally. There's a print and cut um, icon. There's also that icon if you want to change the measurements and then there is the icon that tells you about the machine. So let's go through these step by step. So the first one and the first thing I would want to do is I'm using my fingers to actually 
pinch and zoom out so you can see the entire mat. So that is the amazing thing about this program. You can use your fingers to zoom in and zoom out. But once again, as I mentioned, make sure to go through those tutorials by clicking on this small dot at the bottom, which it will also be there for you to show you exactly and tell you exactly how you can work the program step by step. Okay. All right. So now we are past that. I'm going to make my first step by showing you exactly what all of these icons can do. I want you to be able to see exactly what these icons can do. So we have that plus at the top and that plus at the top is basically to add your design, which we have done already. We have the remove or go back. We have grouping. So let's say I want to tap on my design. I can simply move it around with my finger. If I wanted to ungroup my design, I can click on the, the fifth icon to ungroup. And as you can see, it's ungrouping there. If I want to group it back, I can click on the fourth icon, which it will group together again. All right. Then we are going to flip the design because remember, we are going to be printing this. We're going to be cutting this out onto heat transfer vinyl. So right now, as I'm here, I'm going to resize this design that I created. And I'm going to be flipping it horizontally. Yes. Now, let's say we wanted to do a print and cut. Now, in this particular video, I will not be doing a print and cut. I will only be doing a simple cut with heat transfer vinyl and our cameo with the Silhouette Go app. In another video, I will do print and cut to show everyone how it is done on the app. But for example, if you wanted to use that feature of print and cut, you will select the icon at the top and you will change the Air 4 paper or letter. Once, let's say we're going to change the Air 4 paper, it will give us that option. We will resize or we will place our image or our design within the box and then we go from there but let's get back into our standard setup one thing that you want to take note of that is very important also is at the bottom of the screen you can see your mat size the media size and continue to job settings you want to make sure that you set the mat to your liking so in this case my mat is set to 12 by 12 because I'm using a Cameo 4 and the size of my mat is 12 by 12. However, you can choose to not use any mat. You can choose to use the portrait or you can choose to use 12 by 24. It's up to you. Also, when it comes to the media size, you have different variations of sizes that you can actually use. So make sure to check your settings completely before you get to your printing and cutting. All right, good. Now, we're going to continue to job setting at the bottom. We can actually go here to select our machine, which we have already. We're going to continue to job settings. And at this time, we are just going to choose our settings just like if we were on our computer. So I'm going to use heat transfer vinyl. I'm going to select heat transfer smooth, continue. I'm going to use cut for my action. I'm going to use the auto blade and I don't need to mirror my design because it's already mirrored. I'm going to test or modify settings and I'm going to use a speed of eight. I'm going to use a blade depth of three. My force is going to be at six and I'm going to do one pass and then I'm going to confirm settings. Now we are to this step where it prompts us and it says to us the red border around your design shows which lines your silhouette machine will follow. So you want to make sure that you select exactly what you want to cut. This is basically simple the same way like if you're using your computer and using the silhouette program. Okay, so I'm going to tap on my image and I'm going to select to use outline. Once that is selected, I'm going to click on continue. Now, we have to make sure that we pair our device with our app. So what I'm going to do is turn on my device right now and we're going to sync them together so you can see me cut this first 
design with the silhouette go up. All right, so we are back here. The first thing that I'm going to do is to turn on my Cameo 4. Then I'm going to click on the silhouette go up to scan for a device. So I'm going to be scanning for a device. It automatically picks up my Cameo 4. This is amazing. This is really amazing. Remember to turn on your Bluetooth. I'm going to select the Cameo 4. We're going to click on continue at the bottom. And once we click on continue, it is giving us those prompts to place medium or matte, which will be my vinyl, which I have already here. Our next step would be to line the cutting mat up with the rollers. We're going to do that. It's going to ask us to adjust our blade setting, which we already did with our auto blade. And then it's going to say click on send and we will send it. So I'm going to insert my mat. And then I'm going to click on send. And as you can see, it is actually working. This is really amazing. I am really impressed. And this is going to be a brain buster for us, guys. Let me tell you, this is going to be awesome because you can use this app from any single place. You could be eating and using this app. You can be in your bed and using this app. This is really going to help a lot. All right, so our design is completed and is asking us here on the app, how did it go? Are you happy with the results of your cut job? Now, I'm going to click on yes. And as you can see, it says complete job, return to library, return to arrange and repeat the job. We don't want to repeat the job because we have completed it. I'm just going to return to library. And basically that is it. But before I close this video, of course, I'm going to go ahead and make sure to show you the final result. So let's remove the mat let's peel it off and let's see if this actually was cut and there we go music is life so tell me guys comment down below let me know what you think about the silhouette go app this new app it is out of beta right now. It is in your Google Play Store. It is in your App Store. Get it, download it, start using it. Let's make this silhouette studio program. Let's make everything get better for us. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.